Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's version, version of Craft Corner. Today, I thought maybe you would like to make a magic wand. Uh, I made several of these last year for a Harry Potter program that we had. And so I adapted them so that you could make them easily. I used hot glue and I don't object to you using it if your parents say it's all right. I used a low temperature hot glue, but I'm going to show you today how to do it with glue dots. So what you need for this project is a chopstick some cotton uh, string, cotton yarn if you don't have cotton string. You need about three yards of this for each wand you make. You're gonna need some black acrylic paint, some brown acrylic paint, glue dots the half inch size, your scissors, and of course your paintbrush and your paint holder. And if you want to make it glittery, you can either use glitter or this glue glitter, glitter glue. Uh, I would use this because the other is a lot more messy and will end up getting on everything and then your parents are going to complain because you're leaving glitter everywhere. But if you use this after the project's dried on it, hopefully it would contain the glitter a little bit better. So to start off with, you have a chopstick and you wanna take your glue dots and you see how these glue dots are flat and they're about a half inch flat each. If you pull them off the paper and try to keep them flat, so that they're as big as possible. And then you put them on your chopstick. Uh, I don't think you can see that because it's clear, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cover this chopstick all the way around, starting it at the end here with several, I think it takes about three glue dots to go all the way around. And then you're going to hold on because you're going to need some more glue dots. So you've got glue dots all the way around the end of this chopstick. And I've measured out around three yards of string. So I'm just going to take the end of my string and push it into the glue. And then I'm just going to twist around and around. Just take your hand and make your chopstick go round and round. Then go back up to where you just covered with string and cover more. Because what you're trying to do is make different variations of how thick it is. So it makes it an interesting handle for your magic wand. And when you've made it thick enough up here with several layers, then go down and wrap it around some more and after you get a little ways then go back up and make another now look you've got a lumpy place here and a lumpy place here and it's skinnier in there so keep going and your string may get a little messed but you just Keep it straight for yourself and keep going around. Now, if you're uncomfortable, you're going to go all the way down to about here with this. So if you get to about here and you think, oh, this is going to fall apart if I let it loose, then take another piece of glue. Maybe you could already have it pulled off so that it's easier to get to than I just did. And 
and put that glue on your chopstick there and go around it with your string. So, hey, it went around and it's tight. Now if I let it go, it's still gonna be tight. So just keep going round and around. And what I'm gonna do now is go all the way to where I'm, that's the about the end of my handle. And then I'm gonna start back up. And then I'm gonna start back down again. So, when I get done wrapping this, I will take another glue dot for the last few little turns so that I might even have to untie some knots. which isn't too hard. All right, I've only got a little bit left. So I wanna take another glue dot. This one was easier because I have two hands to do it with. And put a little bit of glue here. and continue to wrap your string around it. Okay, so you end up with this. Now, your next step is to paint the handle black. So you'll put black paint on here and just keep painting it and painting it until it soaks in everywhere and there are maybe a few places that didn't get paint but you'll see this one that I did it's pretty much black all right now you want to let that dry that's why I did this yesterday and then you want to protect your table, which I've got a piece of paper and some wax paper here to protect it. And then you want to use your brown. And you could actually use more than one shade of brown if you wanted to. I'm just going to do one. But take your paintbrush and rub it like this. So that it's not all over the black it's just on the outside and you see that that gives it a very wooden old look then take the rest of your brown and paint your wand now this acrylic paint you don't want to get it on your clothes so um, wear a, an old t-shirt or something and paint this. And when you're finished, which I'm not finished, but I'm going to quit. When you're finished, you let it dry. And that's probably overnight. After it has dried, you can take this, which is glitter glue in the gold color, and rub it on here and use your brush and rub it and you will end up with a, a sparkly finish to it and you have a magic wand so hope you enjoy this and see you next week on craft corner thank you